It is November in Frostburg, which means it is officially winter. We got a fun video today. Today we're comparing the life of a D2 athlete and a D1 baseball player over at Oregon. Go Ducks. They're always known for their sickest jerseys. It's all gonna be run by my uh, my one friend Stone, who I met in the Northwoods League back in 2020. What's up guys? My name's Stone Cherby. Uh, I'm a senior right-handed pitcher at the University of Oregon. Uh, AJ and I played together two summers ago uh, in Rochester in the Northwoods League. 3-2. Swing and a miss. Works home the 3-2. Swing and a miss. Um, that's not the only thing AJ and I have in common. Um, I also got Tommy John surgery. Uh, mine was May 4th of this year. So I'm about six and a half months in. I mean, it's been good. You know, I, it's been good. Uh, the rehab and stuff's been going great and the throwing's been going great. Um, but I thought I would use this time to talk about what a normal day for me looks like and then some things I've learned um, throughout the process. So for me, um, team breakfast every morning at 7 a.m. After that, I usually come back, get some homework done before class, um, late morning, um, go to class, after class, I typically get my elbow rehab done with our trainer, Cody. He's great, he's amazing. Um, so I get that done and then after that, typically have some practice and then after practice have weights. Um, and then after that, it's kind of all the free time I have is dedicated to getting homework done or spending time with my teammates and friends. Um, so pretty standard, I would say AJ and I are pretty similar um, with where we're at in our Tommy John recovery. I think he's a little bit ahead of me. But I think something that's interesting that's different about mine is that it's all time-based. Like my throwing is time-based. Um, we kind of based it on how someone who would get ready for a marathon, you know, they wouldn't just start running 26 miles. They would start with one mile or two miles and then gradually work their way up. So that's what I'm doing for my um, throwing rehab and it allows for more flexibility and my throwing, right? Like if I feel good, you know, I can go farther. If I don't feel great, I don't have to go as far. And it's all based on, it's all based on time. It's not based on distance. It's not based on numbers of throws. It's more just listening to my body. Uh, it's been going great. I can't complain at all. The training staff here and the pitching coach and the supporting staff and everybody, it's amazing. Everything's going great. Um, I think some things like I've learned to throughout this whole process, like AJ and I have talked about it quite a bit, um, is that like, it sucks. I mean, this really like it, like it sucks. It's not fun. And I think it, it builds a lot of character. It really like makes yourself look in the mirror a little bit, like how bad do you want this? You know, cause Tommy John's long time, right? It's, it's usually about a year or so, give or take, give or take a few months. You know, so it really makes you think about what you're doing and how bad do you want it? You know, and like how good do you want to be? Um, I think it's really eye-opening you know i think it builds a lot of character i think it makes you reflect on your character a lot too and i think another thing too is it um has allowed me to become more conscious of like how my body feels you know if my arm is sore like if this part of my arm's sore like i know why now like my biceps sore i know why my triceps sore i know why my forearm is sore i know why so i think that's something unique um that this whole thing has allowed me to do you know and i think um just taking care of yourself too. I think AJ can attest to this, like throughout the whole process, obviously you gotta take care of yourself physically, but taking care of yourself mentally too and checking in with yourself is just as important as all the other rehab stuff. Um, but yeah, as, as far as that, I mean, nothing too crazy. I mean, it's pretty standard stuff, just getting it done one day at a time, one step at a time. We are off to lift. It is a cold one this morning. Jack's with me. Freezing. Cold, like 34 degrees, maybe a little bit colder. It's good, folks. Hey, what's up? Nate Vermillion, sophomore pitcher. Just wanted to say uh, hello to everybody. You know, it's not every day you come out here and uh, lift in 30 degree weather, so I'm enjoying myself. You know, one day we'll probably miss it when we're like. 40 and old and fat. Unless you're like me, you're already halfway there. But uh, looking to be a good season for the Bobcats, you know. We got AJ, so. <laughs> you best, best in the nation. 
Appreciate that, Nate. They said 92 is a fluke. Well done this Hayden how you feeling not feeling too bad man it was a little chilly day in the berg but starting to warm up a little bit gonna have a good day of indies sucks we gotta go to class but hey as Bryce, Jackson, class, as Bryce Jackson says we're, going to class. we're athletes talking? before students I'm not here to play school <laughs> not here to play school <laughs> we love class don't don't let that don't be fooled by anything. yes yeah gotta go to class <laughs> how's your ankle class. ankle's slowly coming back I mean definitely a lot longer than I had hoped but Hopefully have a good winter break, heal it up, get back to 100%, be ready to go in the spring. Yeah, you're really grinding out on that water treadmill. Water's actually kind of cold, actually. What's up, guys? What's going on? Whoa! What's up? Hey! Count of three, we're all going to put down our guns. I have crossbows. <laughs> On our way to class, we're actually dissecting a brain. Dr. AJ with the scalpel. What? No. Done with lab. Unfortunately, we didn't get to film any postable content for brain dissection. Um, AJ cut off half the damn brain. There's the brain, right? The main brain and the cerebellum, and he just went chop. No one told me not to, so it's not my fault. Dr. It is. So it now is. what we're gonna do, we're heading over to Sub Shop at Frostburg, College Ave Subs. It's Tuesday, so they got a deal called the Two for Tuesday. You get two, 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 two for two. two. You get two 12 inch subs for the price of one. It's a good deal. I guess the vlog eats first here. So I got an all American, it's turkey, ham, uh, roast beef, cheese, and I got some lettuce and salt, pepper, mm. and spinach. What you get over there? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, <laughs> no. Damn! <laughs> Classy Italian, bro. Classy Italian? And it consists of pepperoni, salami, lettuce, tomato, onion, salt, pepper, oregano, and mayo and ranch. And chips. See, I got class in about an hour. Just chilling in here eating. Mm -hmm. Feening. Might throw on some Netflix. Big, big mouth. All done with class. We are heading down to the field. Get some defensive work in. It's just a defensive indie today. No hitting. I got Mr. Stretch. What up, vlog? Delco's finest. Sorry, Duda. I stretch as a middle infielder. Stud. You know. Nice little switch hitter. He hit a bomb earlier this year. Oh! oh. Got some catcher content. Receiving! Mr. Come on now. In there. <laughs> Let's get this first person set up. And you pass in my house. Nope. <laughs> God, he throws a heavy ball. About 210 feet out. <laughs> right in the chest. Let's work our way in. Money, dude. Cut, cut. Pick me. Look at that. Not every throw is going to be right on the money. You know this. Okay, work on making tags even if the ball takes me up or it's a pick. I got to move my feet. Still work on making tough plays. Do that. Something smells good. Ah, look at that pick. Dude, I wore one in the hand and it rocked it. Like I wore one <coughs> right in the palm. Felt it right through my hand. Okay, so we're doing infield pop-ups first. I didn't get any line. Ball, ball, ball! Oh, that's up there. Woo! Caught that. I was nervous for a second. 
Bon, 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 bon. That sun's brutal, man. Oh, he's going backhand. Ah! Alex Rodriguez over here. Or Machado or Arenado. I don't know why I went A-Rod first. I'll need you one. I wouldn't call these extreme forehands. Good. Good work today. Any questions on anything? Schedule for the week. <laughs> Meeting tonight. To be able to hit outside tomorrow. Supposed to be in the 60s. Nice so. awesome. All right. Hey, I told the other group, like uh, the catchers, like I feel like this is what the field is going to be like come March. A little soft, a little Catch damp, right? A little chilly out here. So I thought it was good to get some opportunity to take some reps out here with a field similar to what we're going to play on in a few months. Yep. All right. Good job. Okay. Yep. All right. See you guys tomorrow. Or I'll see you tomorrow. Good work. Cats on three. One, two, three. Cats. Cats. We're off to lane. About to go get some food. Team meeting in about an hour. What's everyone going to get? Anyone? Ooh, I haven't decided Probably Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A? I think I'm going to get a chicken stack from Moe's. Chicken stack? I think it's different. They do. Stacks are the best in Moe's. Ooh. What's happening over here? Fire drill. Fire drill? What is this? Elementary school? No, that's the call to the firemen. That's where they have to come to the station. What's happening over in gear? Do you guys see the blinking lights? I know you guys can, the camera see it. I got it act like I... <laughs> I don't it. So anyway, I'm getting Chick-fil-A. <laughs> I hope the school's know. okay though. Right, I'm actually blunt. Got the fries and two nuggets. What are you feasting on over there? Two 12 nugs. Yeah, you took them, you bastard. I was gonna get them. <laughs> what about you? 12 count and a medium fry. Still waiting on the kids and those, Kuiper and Scherzer. It takes a little bit longer here than at your average chain, so check what it is. We are en route to the team meeting. It's a cool little view up here. You got the pool. You got Oxtrim over here. Do a lot of practice in there. Basketball. Basketball. Here's the cage room from overhead. Got three drop down cages. Pretty cool. Sometimes people just walk by, watch us hit, we don't even know. That could also suck sometimes when people watch, uh, walk by and watch us hit. Like machine days? <laughs> machine days are the worst. Machine days is not Especially if it's like 90 plus. Yeah. And then... This is the room. The classroom. Team meetings, exclusive content. You cannot film in here. Hey guys, that's all we got for this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe. I had a blast filming this one. I want to give a big thank you to Stone out of Oregon for providing the content that he did. That was absolutely awesome. As always, guys, thank you for watching the video, and uh, I'll see you next time.